What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so your boy's back, and yes, he is ready to go yet again. Here we are in Lily Cove Town, guys, or Lily Cove City, I should say. Why do I keep on saying town? I don't know, it's beyond me, guys. So, we're going to be exploring, we're going to be getting a lay of the land of this place, just a little bit. And uh, from there, we're probably going to be going into, what was it called, uh, the... Yeah, we're probably going to be going into the, what was it called again? The Safari Zone, just so you guys can see what you guys can actually find in all that crud. Now, as you guys can see, Contest Spectator Trainer Fan Club, someone has scrawled and drawing of Lisa's, or Lisa's, or Lisa's face you know, on the sign. Okay, so I'm assuming it's that Alteria Trainer and all that stuff, but as you guys can see, this is a fan club right here. Not going to go and talk to them because there's nothing uh, to offer, and uh, well, let's see. Hmm, what is there to see? This is the motel. I wonder what they have to offer right here. Nothing, except for just one person watching the TV. Let's see. Hmm, so they doubled the guests by using Pokemon as attractions. Hmm, well maybe I should make a cute Pokemon our motel's mascot. I wonder if that uh, that will attract more guests to stay with us. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was, I was so absorbed in watching TV. Since that Team Aqua came to town, the tours have been staying away. Huh? That, that could be it. Now, let's see. What can we find right here that is uh, so important? There's literally nothing right here, guys. So, this guy was not joking around. Team Aqua and Team Magma, if you're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, has come in here and just... Yeah, took, yeah they, they, they've taken over the town and all that crud. So, it is your job to, well, get them out of town and all that crud because, well, you know, the environment, the children... You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Just playing. Anywho, uh, let's go to the nitty-gritty right here, guys. Let's go straight up here, and let's go ahead and find our girlfriend. Hey, Draven! Mmm, look at you. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's been two months since I've seen you. Don't tell me. Are you here for the shopping too, Draven? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? And that will be my thumbnail, by the way. We're right in front of the famous Lilico de department store, after all. When I saw you, I figured you maybe, or I figured maybe you'd come here to do some shopping. Same as me. Hmm. I might do some shopping, probably. I'm afraid I already brought uh, bought up a t uh, tons of stuff like Pokemon dolls and posters and, but but that's not all I've been doing. Uh, of course, uh, I've also caught uh, caught uh, caught tons of different Pokemon, and I've been raising them well too. Hmm. Really. Gasp, yes, you doubt me? Harsh. I think the bigger question here is whether you're raising your Pokemon right, not me. So, that settles it. Let's have a battle. Okay, whatever you say, baby. Let's test my team and see how they stack up against your passion of Pokemon for Pokemon, Draven. Okay, so here it is, guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Another battle against May. And she's going to be coming out with a Swellow. I don't think this wall is going to be strong enough to go up against this guy right here. Say hello to Thunderball. And, uh, well, I think a, a discharge will do. Yes, discharge. So, here's a little something, guys. Off screen, I did maybe something different. You guys will see in just a little bit. Look at that. Thunderball grows to level 51. Pretty awesome. And would you look at this. Claymore grows to level 11. And, well, if you guys are wondering, yes, that's right, guys. I have switched out Shadow Eye for Claymore. I've realized that, well, you know, if I was going to have a slow Pokemon, it might as well be somebody that's very physically gifted and can help me with the ground type capabilities and all that stuff, especially Pokemon like this guy right here. And let's go straight for a Leaf Tornado, and here comes a Protect. Holy crud. Okay, so it looks like everybody's faster than Tropicana right now, so it's... Yeah, we're, 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 we're gonna have to be struggling just a little bit, so here we go. Leaf Tornado for the win. And that Swampor, that Swampert is just not having it right now. And since we are a Flying type, yes, we are gonna get hit pretty hard. So let's go Air, air Slash right here. And, well, would you look at that. Swampert defeated. And, well, Claymore is getting some points right here. Yes, we are starting from the bottom yet again, guys, because, well, Claymore happens to be one of the Pokemon that I kind of nixed when it came into, well, when it came time for, like, you know, different kinds of Pokemon, especially in Pokemon Emerald. 
I might as well just use it. It does have a Mega Evolution. It looks cool. And it would look better with Leviathan right here because, yeah, why not? So let's go right ahead, get Leviathan. Now, you guys may be asking, what am I doing with the Pokemon that I've used up in the very first few episodes? Well, they're in the PC, guys, and do not worry. They will be coming of use sooner than you think. And, well, look at this. Macargo. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Look at this. Leviathan growing to level 34 right here. And it's learning Aqua Tail, which, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna teach it because, well, I already have Surf, so... That's for later on right there. So, let's see what happens. And, uh, well, Claymore doesn't grow a level right here. But here comes a Breloom. So, let's go straight for Tommy JDF. Let's do it for the goat. Tommy, the Red Ranger, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the Black Ranger. That's right. The goat. And, well, as you guys can see, here comes a Blaze Kick. And, well, of course, she's going to hit us first because, you know. Ladies first, and, well, let's go with the Brave Bird. Let's just overkill right here. So here we go. Flying like a speed, like a speeding bullet. And just like that, Breloom has been defeated, and crap baskets on a crapsicle stick, we get poisoned. Oh, God. Seriously? Okay, so there we go. We get some more experience points. Claymore grows to level 14, and May is not happy about this. She's like, dot, dot, dot. Yes. Okay, so let's see. What do you have to say for yourself now? Ah, this reminds me of the battle that I had back with you, uh, with you at Route 103. We were able to become this strong because you battled me back then, right, Draven? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Whatever you could, whatever you say, baby. What would you think if I said something like that? Well, I'd, I would think it would be the cutest thing that you'd ever say. But okay, I'll nod and agree. I'll nod and agree. So, anywho, she's going to be saying, I'm actually thinking about it's about time I went back to Little Root Town, though uh, I've caught a lot of different Pokemon and my Pokedex is pretty complete, so I think I should go to show my uh, show it to my dad. Huh. Did did something just sparkle in your bag? It was like the light from, the, from that meteorite. <laughs> oh, nothing. Sorry. Just forget it. I'm probably just imagining things. Draven, what are you going to do? You're going to collect all the gym badges and take, the, take on the Pokemon League Challenge? Yes. Typical Draven. Then while you're collecting the badges, I guess I'll go complete my Pokedex. I guess I'll be off then. Whatever you say, baby. Alrighty, so... Well, now that you guys already know, we got ourselves a nice Pokemon in Claymore right here. Look at this. This Pokemon, Steel and Rock-type Pokemon, does have a very good defense... It doesn't have a good special attack, so yeah, it's not going to be that kind of Pokemon. But it does have Sturdy. It cannot be knocked out with one hit. And, well, let's see. doesn't have the best moves yet. I can teach it some HM moves while I'm at it and all that stuff, or TM moves. But that's going to have to wait for a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and then we're going to get back to it right here. Okay, so we're back, guys, and we're nice and healed up. Now, a few things that you guys want to want to see. This house right here is home to the move deleter. So if you guys have any kind of HM moves that you don't want to use, or if you're planning on trading a Pokemon that has a moves that don't exist in the next level or the previous level, well, this is the place to go. And uh, let's see, there is a Team Aqua member right here. I believe if you talk to this guy, he's like, when it gets down to it, the same way suits suit me perfectly, a crisp breeze suits the sea. Wow, I can't even say that right. And you, a berry suits you to a T. Why should uh, that be so? And he, of course, he's going to be giving us a Lepa, a Lepa berry. And well, every single day he's going to be giving us a berry. So that's that's awesome. Now, if you go right here, you can talk to this gentleman. Like, see what he has. Pokemon are like partners to us humans. They certainly aren't to be used like tools. Unfortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that. Yeah, I just walked by and it's somebody right here. And uh, well, let's see. Well, you can use an acrobat to get back up here. Now, I wonder what kind of house is this. And if you talk to these guys, let's see what this is all about. Uh, what I heard is that the that in some regions they wake up Pokemon with these with with some of these. And look at this, we got ourselves a Poke Flute. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use any Poke Flutes here. And uh, hmm, what? Let me uh, let me be. I'm still half asleep here, so just take this. And there we go. We get ourselves the TM44 rest. That right there will come in handy when it comes to, well, 
what can I say? Well, 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 it will come in handy for different things and stuff. If you talk to this guy, he's like, hmm, you know, you know of the peculiar cavern in this cove? It was a natural formation, but then that Team Aqua lot came along and made their renovations. They say that they are Team Aqua's lovers of nature, but what they say and what they do don't match at all. It really doesn't. Honestly, it, it, it just doesn't. So, let's see. What else do we have to do right here? There are, okay, so there are some stones right here, guys, which you can break, and you can actually, you know, get yourself some, uh, some hidden items, or maybe be attacked by a Pokemon, a rare Pokemon. It, yeah, it might be a rare Pokemon. And if you talk to this guy, I am not going to go right here, but this guy right here is actually training. Holy crud, out of all the Team Aqua members, there is somebody that is actually training his Pokemon. Wow. It is a miracle. It is. Okay, so let's see. Here we found ourselves a Pokeball. That's always fun. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see. What else do we have to get right here? There might be an item hidden here. Let's see, I don't know. Uh, of course, I'm just spitballing right now, guys, because it's been a while since I've played this game. And, uh, well, let's see. Ah, there's a Pokeball right there. So let's go ahead and use this Acro Bike, which I completely forgot I had, and go straight to the cove. And, well, if you see this old couple, it's like, even as we grow old and wrinkled, the sea remains forever young with the vivid brilliance of life. <laughs> that, that That's sweet. That is very sweet. And, well, I am talking to this guy yet again, so let's talk to her. It was 60 years ago that my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Ain't that pretty. Now, everybody completely forgets about this little item right here, so let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Grab this, and here we found ourselves a Max Repel, which, of course, you know, is always good. And, well, if you look at this, this is, uh, I guess this is the, the, the light for, the, or the, it's kind of like a lighthouse or something like that. I wonder if there's any use for it. Now, you can sit right here, and bam! No, that is going to be my thumbnail. That is definitely going to be my thumbnail for this episode. That is a beautiful view. You can see the view over at the Team Aqua compound and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else that we can actually find right here? Aside from, you know, the usual. Uh, let's see. We've already been there. But as you guys can see, the contest hall is going to be right here. And there is another spot right here, too. Let's go ahead and talk to more. Go in here. And everybody's playing their Nintendo 3DS. Now, if you talk to this guy, when my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now, seeing them play together, it makes me happy. Ha <laughs> Quadruplets. Oh my my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young, good for you. I'm sure my kids could learn a thing or two from you. Me? I'm a Pokeball Pokeblock master. If I get just a little serious, why I can I can concoct a great Pokeblocks. Would you like me to learn? Or uh, would you like to learn from me, a Pokeblock master? Sure. Oh, good. You're smart. You're a smart soul. This is a bit long, so listen up. Are you ready? If you want to make a great Pokeblocks, you should choose berries with the same color, if possible. Don't forget that a Pokeblock in blue improves the condition of your Pokemon a lot, so it's very useful. And this is also important. If you blend rare berries with the same color, it is, it's more likely that you'll get a great Pokeblocks. And another thing, there are many Pokeblocks called Rainbow Pokeblocks. You have, you have to make these with the all different, colored, po uh, with all different color, colored berries. It's hard to make them, but they will improve all conditions at once. So if you like that, it's worth making them. That's, uh, that's, all, that's about all you need to know to make good Pokeblocks. If everyone had Pokemon, uh, they love berries, Pokeblocks, and a loving family, the world would be a happier place. Don't give up, dear. Okay. All right, so that makes sense right there. It still doesn't, it still doesn't mean that I'm going to be doing any kind of Pokemon contest, even though I could, but I don't. But I could. But then again, I don't. Now, if you guys can see right here, this is a... What was it called? Um, Well, you can actually find the... Well, this is the dock for the... The ferry that you can actually find over at Slateport, but as of right now, you won't be able to do anything because, well, it's not around. It hasn't been taken. There hasn't been any uh, any kind of BS going on right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on forward. We're going to be going straight into the Safari Zone. I'm pretty sure many of you guys already know what the department store is all about. So, we're just going to be going into the, into the uh, what was it called again? The... Yeah, we're going to be going into the Safari Zone because 
There are, there are going to be lots of rare Pokemon. Heck, I might even find a Pokemon here and there that I kind of want to use. Maybe, maybe just maybe. I kind of want to improve the team just a little bit. So here we are in the Safari Zone. And this Safari Zone is a little bit different from, you know, the usual ones. Same as Pokemon Emerald. Talk to this lady. Hello, welcome to the Safari Zone. Admittance is free. Catch all the Pokemon you can. Enjoy yourself with the Pokemon as long as your time allows. Hmm. For the first time, it's for free. Okay, so here we are in the Safari Zone. And like she said, it is for free. And, uh, well, there is no time in any of this. You will be able to find different kinds of Pokemon in this general vicinity. And, well, I'm going to capture quite a few. One I already have my eye on, and here we have Doduo. Okay. Alright, let's see what Doduo is all about right here. And as you guys can see, a Doduo has what has appeared, and you can battle these Pokemon. The only problem is that you might be a little bit under or over leveled in all that crud, so it would be a it would be a good suggestion to use a Pokemon that is in the you know same level, kind of the same level, close le closer level than these guys. That's why you need a, a, a good team. And, well, here we have a double hit. Like I said, I'm going to try and capture some of these Pokemon just so I can feel happy about myself. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Dragon Pulse. Hopefully it doesn't defeat this Pokemon. If it does, then crud. And, alrighty, okay. So, Doduo is still alive. And it's still kicking my butt just a little bit. So let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon right here. Let's go... You know what? Let's go with an Ultra Ball. It doesn't really matter. Let's do it. And, well, would you look at this. Two, and... There it is, guys. We got ourselves another Pokemon. Doduo. Okay. Well, we're getting some points, and of course... You know, we do have a Pokemon that needs more leveling up, so here we go with a Doduo. As you guys can see, we've encountered it four times, the Twin Bird Pokemon. Doduo's two heads contain completely identical brains. A scientific study reported that in rare occasions, there will be examples of this Pokemon possessing different sets of brains. Huh. Okay, so we're not going to nickname this Pokemon. And... Well, let's see. Give me just a sec, guys. Got a little bit of a text message. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. Yes, I've been getting a lot of text messages of, as of late. Okay, so let's see what other Pokemon we can actually find in this whole place. And, well, we're going to be finding ourselves a Gloom. That's always cool. It's always very, very cool. But we're going to be switching it up. We're going to be moving on away right here. Now, uh, I'm going to try and visit as many places as possible. Now, this place right here is also dictated by the bikes that you have. And believe it or not, guys, eventually there are going to be some spots right here where you're going to need both bikes just to get by this whole area right now. So... We're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna be doing things little by little. I'm not gonna be going through the whole acro bike and mock bike uh, levels and all that stuff. I'm just gonna show you different areas, or maybe I should. I don't know. It should be cool. It should be uh, should be a good thing to do. And well, look at that. We found ourselves a Psyduck. Alrighty, how's it going, Psyduck? It's looking pretty uh, you're looking pretty fly right there, and it has a Cloud Nine effect right now. So let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And that right there gives Psyduck a little bit of a... Well, it, it keeps Psyduck just a little bit. And yes, we're going to get a Fury Swipes. So obviously, we're going to be doing it like we're going to get hit like three times or something. So let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon. Like I said, guys, we're going to be capturing as many Pokemon as possible. And, uh, well, let's go straight for a Dive Ball. Now, if... Good gravy. Like, if you were playing Pokemon Ruby, Alpha, or Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire, there would be no shot ever to capture every single Pokemon in one episode. And, yeah, that would be very, very frustrating. But here it is, guys. Get ourselves a... Uh, got ourselves a Psyduck. And, of course, we've used the Psyduck before. So let's go right ahead and name this Pokemon. Look at this. Boom! Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. If it uses its mysterious powers, Psyduck can't remember having done so. It apparently can't form a memory of such an event because it gets into an altered state that is much like deep sleep. Huh. 
That makes a lot of sense. So let's go right ahead and nickname this Pokemon Mind Duck. Hmm, who knows? We might we might just use this Pokemon to uh, you know to take over the world or something. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and nickname this guy. There we go. Mind Duck. Okay, there you go. And press that start button. And just like that, bam. So let's go right ahead and just continue our adventure. And uh, well, it looks like this is a spot for what was it called? Uh, Acrobikes or Mark Box, I should say. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, so here we are taking on a Doduo. And uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything we want to do with this guy right here. So let's go ahead and switch it, or like get out of here. And yes, in this episode, guys, I'm, I am going to be showing you both Acro and Mock Bike levels. And there was a Pokemon there that won't, that needed to be captured. And that right there is a Gloom. Now, I probably should put on Repels because I think it would be easier for us to find some rare Pokemon like that. That could be it. Let's see. So let's see. We, we can get through this whole area right here with a mock or an acrobike. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at that. We're bouncing up and down right here. And bam. Okay. So we're going to go through these little spots. And we're going to go through this part here first. And I want to say that there's an item here hidden by. Huh. Let's see. No, there's nothing. Okay, so let's go right ahead and not go there. And go right here. And uh, right here. As you guys can tell, there is a something sparkling right there. So let's get off the acrobike. Or, yeah, let's get off the acrobike and see what this is all about. And here we found ourselves in Absolite. This actually helps Absol's Mega Evolve, which... Well, you can actually find around this area right here. Not here, here in this part, but you know what I mean. So, let's see. Actually, Route 120 is the place to go. And I think there's another Mega Evolutionary Stone around here. I could be wrong. So, let's go right ahead and surf this. And let's see what we can actually find right here. Again, there's going to be a lot of hidden areas, and here we found ourselves a Max Revive. This is one of, like, maybe, I guess, one of six, maybe? There could be more. It could be more, I think. I don't know. So let's go right ahead and move on, and let's see. What Pokemon can we find? And you know what? It is a good idea to put on a Repel, because there will be some Pokemon that you really, really want to uh, take a look at. Uh, let's see. I think we have the game where you can actually find Pinsir. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So, let's go right ahead and put on that repel and see what we can find right here. Talk to this guy. He's going to be like, are you catching Pokemon in here in the Safari Zone? That's fine, as long as you take care of them. Which, you know, you, you know me. I take care of my Pokemon. I take care of Pokemon. I am an awesome trainer. There was a little bit of hesitation right there. Okay, so let's get the heck in here. There we go. And let's go right here. And here, here, and here, here. Not here. <laughs> I don't know why I keep on doing that. So, oh, so there is a Pokemon that nearby that you can actually find. And I think it have. I think it might be a Zatu because that's what it's. Oh, no, it, it sounds like a Wobbuffet. And where can you... No, we're walking away from it. Okay, so we don't need that Wobbuffet right now. Let's go right ahead and... F oh, I heard somebody. Where are you? Nope, it's not there. Oh, okay, so it's getting closer and closer. I heard the Pokemon, and look at that. The tail is sticking out. Oh, yes. We found you. Alrighty, so... Everybody say hello to Pikachu, male version, and yes, it's at level 30. We want no part of it, so let's go right ahead and let's see. What kind of Pokeball can we capture? Oh, you know what? A Quick Ball. Quick Ball is usually uh, the way to go right here for a Pikachu since it's, you know, fast and all that crud. And come on, stay in the ball. Stay in that goddamn ball. Stay in there. It matches your color. Yes! 
throwing out that piece on, guys. Alrighty, okay. So, we got ourselves a Pikachu, guys. Look at that, okay. And, well, here is the mouse Pokemon. This Pokemon has electricity storing pouches on its cheeks. These appear to become electri uh, electrically charged during the night while Pikachu sleeps. It occasionally discharges electricity when it's dozy, uh, when it is dozy after waking up. Huh. So, since this is the male version of Pikachu, let's go right ahead and bequeath its name. I bequeath you the name Sparky from our Pokemon, our original Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Bam! There you go, and yes, you you best believe I am going to capture a female version of this Pikachu. That way we can breed it. We did get a light ball two episodes ago. I think it's with the light ball. If you breed a male and female Pikachu, you will get a you will get a Pichu that learns Wild Charge. Or some variant of that. And we're not gonna use anything right now. And as you guys can see, you can't go through here. I don't know what the point I don't know what the point of this is. So, let's see. There is a Pokemon that we... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. This is a rare Pokemon and it's all, all the way out there. Now, we're gonna be missing it, so... We are SOL. And, well... We're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. Ugh! Okay. So, here we have a Psyduck. A Psyduck. A Psyduck. Okay, so... There you go, and let's get the heck out of here. We, we should probably, yeah, we, we should probably put a repel on ourselves. So, let's go ahead and do that. Another max repel. And, let's see, what else can we find right here? Nothing. Okay, so I think this is maybe the last, the last area right here where you can use the acro bike. See, right here. Right here, and we're gonna need that. And, huh. Okay, I'm gonna go the opposite way first. And this will, this will lead us right here, what the heck? Huh. Is this a new area? Let's see. Oh, it is a new area, okay. So you can surf right here, you can find some Pokemon. Okay, so let's see. Oh, find new bushy areas right here. And crap baskets. We do need an extra an extra bike for that. That's what I was talking about, guys. That, you know, there is an area right here where you're going to be needing both bikes. And eventually, later on in this walkthrough, I will be showing you how to get both bikes. It's, it's probably the most... Uh how can I explain it? It's probably the, It's probably one of the most simplest things. We always overlook it. And Nintendo kind of like took advantage of that, so yeah, we're probably gonna be doing that a little bit later on. Not not right now, but later on after we defeat the the whole thing. And well, let's see. We're right here, and this will lead us to this spot. And yes, we're gonna be using another Max Repel right here, and we're gonna be going down. Come on, get down here. There we go. One more. Don't be lame, and there we go. Okay, so where does this lead us? There is a Pokemon. There is a rare Pokemon. And this rare Pokemon will be right here. Now we just gotta walk a little slow because it might go away. And here we found ourselves a Dawn fan. Okay. Alright, bring it on, Dawn fan. And, uh, well, let's see. It does have some pretty good defenses, maybe. So let's go with a Dragon Pulse and see if it doesn't make it faint or anything. And well, it, I was right. And look at this. A Magnitude 7. That right there is going to mess us up just a tad bit. So let's go ahead and give it one more hit. And I probably should have... Ah, crap baskets. Okay, so it, it, it fainted. I probably should have uh, recovered instead. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right there. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to go... I'm going to fast forward, and uh, we're going to get... Let's see. Yeah, we do have Fly. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to fast forward to when we get the mock bike, and we're going to cover the areas where the mock bike can actually go to. So I'll be right back with you guys.
Alrighty guys, so we're back and well, we got ourselves the mock bike So we're gonna be taking a look at uh, the areas where mock bikes work And as you guys can see there are these sandy areas right here and well Like I said before there will be areas where you're gonna be needing both bikes We'll be showing you that later on and I kind of messed up on that because crap baskets So let's see what can we find in this general area nothing uh, maybe Maybe a cool item here and there, probably. Maybe a Mega Stone. And that does sound like the same Pokemon that wanted to attack me, so let's go ahead and find out where it's at. Kind of sounded like a Rhyhorn. I wanted a Rhyhorn. Oh, yeah, it is a Rhyhorn. So let's go ahead and grab this Rhyhorn. And, well, here we go. Rhyhorn, looking mean as always. Let's get a Leviathan. Let's try and not make this Pokemon faint right here. So here we go. Dragon Pulse for the win. And there you go. Oh, crap. I was about to say it was about to get fainted, but look at that. Rhyhorn uses its, uh, well, oh, wow. Oh, I completely forgot about this Pokemon's uh, effect, so <laughs> never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon with, uh, let's go with a Nest Ball right here. Might be, what, six, seven levels below us, but we can still manage it. And, well, there's one. There's two. And this Pokemon does not want to get captured, so here comes a Rock Blast. Oh, crap. This is a multiple hitting attack. This is not good. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Let's go straight for a Nest Ball. And come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. And there you go, guys, throwing out the peace sign. <laughs> Imagine if it would have, like, just popped out after I said... Get, you know, throwing out the peace sign. That would have been hilarious. Anywho, here we are, capturing a new Pokemon. And it's Rhyhorn, both ground and rock type Pokemon. The Spikes Pokemon. Rhyhorn's brain is very small. It is so dense, while on a run, it forgets why it started running in the first place. It apparently remembers sometimes if it demolishes something. Huh. Maybe it's kind of like me, where, you know, CTE is a thing. Holy crud. Anywho, let's see, um, we've already been right here, right? Yeah, we've already been right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at more areas where this area, right here. And here we get ourselves a big pearl. And we're going to go right over here because there's another, yes, there is another nugget right here. And, well, let's go ahead and surf. This is always nice just to surf. And I want to say that, like, after, after specific events legendary events you will be able to get yourself more pokemon in the safari zone because of well the pokemon suddenly appearing and all that crud so here we are using leviathan yet again and this area you will be able to find yourself the tm22 solar beam a very very powerful grass type move and well, there is a Pokemon that wants to be captured by us. Oh, by the way, off screen, yes, I did capture myself a Dawn fan, so yeah, my bad, guys. And here we are, getting into this specific location, and I believe this is where you're going to be finding a pretty rare Pokemon yourself, and let's go ahead and use another Repel because we don't need to get attacked by Pokemon right now. This guy is like, it is my job to be checking up on the health of all Pokemon. Having so many Pokemon together in one area means that we need to be extra careful of the spread of illness. Huh! Well, doesn't that bring back memories of what happened this past week? Yeah. Oh, crap baskets. So, like I said, guys. You will be eventually getting two bikes. And this is another area where you're going to be needing the second bike to get that specific TM. And let's see, talk to this guy. He is, you know, we call this place a safari zone, but it's really no different than any wild area. There are no cages or walls. The Pokemon are free to come and go as they like. Oh, that is pretty cool. Okay. So what I meant with the whole spreading of disease and all that stuff, guys. Well, uh, I think I said this in the last episode. Yeah, last two episodes. Yes, your boy right here caught COVID. Not cool. Um, what else happened? Yeah, it, it took me out for a week, especially from everything, like, all the activities that I, I, I normally do, you know, work. You know, your boy likes to work and all that stuff. Um, actually, wait, we need to go right here. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Let's use another repel. There might be some item right here that I'm not, I'm not finding. 
But yeah, um, yeah, uh, what was it called? Uh, your boy caught COVID. It was not a very, very good experience, guys. Uh, he felt pretty bad, and, well, I'm just trying to... I'm literally trying to do my best to catch up on all the episodes right here, because... Yeah, I should have been... I should have been at level, like, at episode 55, at least. And because of this whole COVID thing, it derailed me just from everything, you know, work work uh making videos and all that stuff and uh well i think we've covered everything right here so huh, look at that okay okay let's go ahead and see if this is a female pikachu because if it's not then that's going to suck and it looks like to me it's going to be a male pikachu it could be a male pikachu let's see it has faint faint attack okay or faint Alrighty, so let's see what we got. Yes, we got ourselves a female Pikachu. Let's go ahead and capture it. And let's make another Pokemon out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a repeat ball since we've already caught a Pikachu. And there we go. Hopefully this uh, it stays in this one. There we go. One, two, three, and there you go. Oh, crap, baskets. <laughs> Trust issues have been initiated. Holy crud. And yes, we need to capture this Pokemon or else it will it will mess us up. So here we go. And stay in the ball. Come on. Be cool with us. Don't be that Pokemon. Yes. Throwing at the peace sign. Alrighty. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a female Pikachu. And. Well, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon after, you know, my niece, my lovely niece, Aaliyah. So, let's see, Aaliyah. I hope I don't mess up her name because she will be mad. Bam. And you best believe I will be breeding both Sparky and Aaliyah just to make that super, that super duper Pichu Pokemon that, you know, we've been talking about. And, well, that is pretty much it, guys. It's been a nice long episode. In the next episode, guys, we will be going south and going straight into Mount Pyre, I believe. So thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being, for, for being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.